Hey folks, good morning. Good morning, happy Thursday. Good to see you on here. I'm going to scoot up there. Hope you're off to a good start today. Uh, good to be with you. It's uh, Thursday. <laughs> What's going on there, Owen? Owen, come here. Come here. <clears throat> Owen, come here, buddy. I have a job for you. Come here. He's got to come see me. No, come here. No. No, come here. Oh, goodness. Come, come over here to this side. Come over to this side so I can talk to you. Come here. I'm not going to do anything to you. <laughs> hey, go, go tell Mommy that Daddy needs coffee. There we go. <laughs> There it is. That's right. All right. I'm having a little uh, little lag here going on, so I'm going to do a quick bump um, to make sure the thing doesn't freeze anymore. How about that? So let's just run this through here. All right. Well, today's Thursday, April the 27th. As you can tell, we are wide awake and things are rocking and rolling here. Yeah, internet looks a little, be a little sluggish. sluggish. And slowing down. And, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, all right, we're picking up. Okay, well, good to be with you. Uh, hope you're off to a, to a good start today. A couple of jokes as we get started. Um, where was it? Do I get in the nipple feet? No. <laughs> All right, there you go. Did you know? Did you know that glasses make you look smart, but you had to fail a test to get them? <laughs> huh? That's kind of funny, isn't it? That's a funny one. All right, I only got two today. Here's your last one. You should never be mad at lazy people. They didn't do anything. <laughs> All right, well, let's jump into our devotional today, and we're going to talk about um, God's wisdom versus our feelings. God's wisdom versus our feelings. Have you ever felt, uh, had that feeling uh, that something was so very, very right, it's exactly what you should do, but then when you did it, it ended up being quite very wrong? You ever had, you ever had that? Our feelings can lie to us. In fact, they lie all the time. Uh, there's an old country song um, by, I looked it up, by David Houston and Barbara Mandrell. Anybody recognize those names? Uh, there's an old country song by them, and it says, the, the lyrics of it, ooh, thank you, there it is, coffee. Oh, you gotta see it. I know. It's coming. It's coming. There it is. Here. It's just so delayed. There you oh, go. Right there. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm all thrown off now. Oh, sorry. I might as well take a drink, right? Mm. All right. Something's going on with the video. All right. Old country song. Um says, how can it be wrong when it feels so right? You ever, you ever trust our feelings and it ended up betraying us? There are a lot of things that we do that I think that feel right in the moment, but are actually quite wrong. Uh, think about it, you know, like maybe you were just a few months or a long time into a relationship and you wonder, what in the world was I thinking? Or maybe a few weeks into a new job, how in the world did I get caught up in this? You know, a quick decision that seemed harmless at the time can leave you broken and scarred years later. I want you to experience, uh, well, I want us all, and I think we all want to, we want to experience fewer, fewer dead ends, if that makes sense, fewer failures in life. I think if we want to do that, we need to listen to what the writer says in Proverbs chapter 3. And you probably know this passage of scripture, so I'm just going to throw it up on the screen. Uh, just the reference, because it's, it's long. 
And if I typed it out on the screen, it would be really tiny letters. So, this is what Proverbs 3, 5, 5 through 7 says in the New Living Translation. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all that you do, and He will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. You hear that part, don't be impressed with your own wisdom? I think a lot of us can do that. I know I have to be humbled at times. But if we really want God, God's blessing in our lives, we really want his, his leading, his guidance, we have to depend on God's wisdom and not what our feelings or our gut tells us. Yes, there's a purpose for that at times, right? There's a purpose for it. But in other words, we're supposed to, scripturally, biblically, if we have a biblical worldview, we should trust in the Lord and not our own understanding. So the question that we have to ask is, how do we get God's wisdom? Well, coffee is one of those things. No, I'm teasing. How do we get God's wisdom? Well, number one, you pray. What's your prayer life like? Is it only when it's in moments of crisis? Is it only when you sit down at a dinner table? What's your prayer life like? You pray. Remember, prayer is a two-way conversation. So number one, you pray. Number two, you talk to God, and you let him talk to you as you read his word. When was the last time you sat down and opened your Bible and said, I'm going to read your word? I want to see what you have to say to me through this. Outside of a Sunday morning or a Wednesday night. When was the last time you sat down and read his word? That's, that's, that's how we get to know God. That's how we let uh, God intervene in us. We pray and we read his word. He speaks to us through that. We had a great conversation last night. And one of the questions was, how do we hear God's voice, right? As we're talking about... Uh, uh, Judges chapter 20 and, and the horrible things that Israel were going through. They were in the midst of a civil war. But how do we hear God's voice? How do we get his wisdom? One, you pray. Two, you read his word. Those are the two most important things that we should be doing as a Christian daily. Daily. The same way we get sustenance from food, uh, from this beautiful brown liquid I have to partake in it I can't just say I love coffee and get all the benefits of, of caffeine no I have to partake in it I love food but I I have to eat food in order to get the benefits and the nutrients from it you can't just say I love Jesus and expect everything to work out we have to pray we have to read his word the Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 5, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Pray, read his word. God doesn't want us to make foolish mistakes. He really doesn't. God really does want you to succeed in life. He wants us to follow his plan, his path. He wants us to make wise decisions with our time, our money, our, our, our relationships, our resources, our talents, our giftings. And the truth is, uh, we're not waiting on God for his help. He's already waiting on us. It's like he's saying, hey, I, I, I'm here. I'm ready to give you wisdom. I'm ready to, uh, to, to, to guide you and to lead you and direct you. But we have to ask. We have to pray. We have to read his word. This isn't prosperity gospel. This isn't name it, claim it stuff. This is operating in our culture in a biblical mindset and worldview. We've got to trust what Scripture says. If we need wisdom, we ask for it. But it's not in just in moments of crisis. It's a daily, day in, day out, all the time. I trust in you. I'm going to pray. I trust in you. I'm going to read your word. I want to hear your voice to me. That's all i got for you today. What's your, what's your schedule look like? Are you praying and reading daily? We eat and drink daily. So why wouldn't we get sustenance from God daily? That's all I got for you. Hope you're off to a good start. Thursday, April the 27th. Uh,
quick reminder, quick reminder, this Sunday we have some great friends with us. Uh, I'm looking forward uh, to having Dr. Kevin Baird with us this Sunday morning. Uh, he is a part of the Florida Family Policy Council. He's also part of the, uh, the director of the Capital Project, uh, which ties uh, churches, religious leaders, to the State House in Florida, uh, gets us connected with our, uh, with our representatives and those uh, over our districts. Uh, great man of God, uh, wonderful preacher, gifted speaker. Uh, he's going to be with us this Sunday morning. You don't want to miss it. Invite some friends. Bring them out. Get involved. See what God is up to uh, and what opportunities we have to be a part. All right, guys? Hope you're off to a good start today. Love y'all. Appreciate you. Uh, if you need anything, reach out to us. You can call, text, email, Facebook Messenger, uh, Fox with the Barrel, Smoke Signals, Crow with the little ribbon thing around his neck. I don't know. Whatever. Um, not Crow. Pigeon. Pigeon. That's it. Um, other than that, looking forward to seeing you again. All right? And remember, if you need anything, look to him. Pray, read his Bible, follow his leading, follow his guidance. And uh, as we go throughout our day, let's find an opportunity today to be a blessing to someone else. Because God is always a blessing to us. Amen? Love you all. Appreciate you. Take care. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.